At this point in the development of our site, it's time to go ahead and put our navbar in place. So let's pull up index.html, and we can put our navbar in a couple places. We could put it below our header or right above. What we're going to do is create another container div above this container div and put our navbar there. We could just as easily pretty much put our navbar right here between the opening div for our container and the h1 header. But just to demonstrate that we can have multiple div containers on a page, we're going to do it this way. So right beneath the body tag, we're going to create a new div with the class container. And we'll go down a little ways and go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and write a comment to ourselves that this is closing the container class. And go ahead and put a space there just to keep things readable. So inside this new container div, we're going to create a nav tag with the class navbar and navbar hyphen default. Now, as you can probably tell, this is for Bootstrap's default navbar. There are things we can do to play around with this, but we're going to just keep things at the default for now. Go ahead and close your nav tag. Inside the nav tag, we're going to create another container div. Div class equals container. Make sure you close that. And here, we're going to start creating the actual contents of the navbar. First, we're going to add another div. This one's going to have the class navbar hyphen header. And close that. And in here, we're just going to put one anchor with the class navbar hyphen brand. And we'll put the name of our company right here. So it's going to be actually in the navbar along with the links of the navbar, but it's going to stand out a little bit. Almost forgot to give this an href. Just give it an href of the hash symbol, so it'll pretty much just link to itself, so we don't have to create multiple pages for the tutorial. And now that we have Trust Hub as our branding in our navbar, we can go ahead and remove this h1 header down here that we started off with. Now, find where your navbar header div closes. We're going to go right beneath that, start a new div. For now, we're not going to give this one any classes. Just leave it as is. And inside it, we're going to start our unordered list that's going to contain the actual elements of the navbar. This ul tag is going to have the classes nav and navbar hyphen nav. We'll close that as well and start putting our list items. So for the first list item, we're going to have an a href equals hash symbol. And for now, go ahead and just leave this blank and go ahead and close it and then close the list item. And then you can copy this and just paste it a couple more times. Let's have four of these. It'll save us a little work in just a second. And so the text in this anchor tag for this first one, let's just use home. Let's also give this list item the class active. If you can, whenever you're creating a site with Bootstrap, it's good to use the active class for the list item of whatever page you're on. It gives the viewer a visual indication that the page you're looking at is this part of the nav menu. For this next one in the anchor tag, let's just do blog. And then we can do contact and about. Make sure those are inside the anchor tag on each of these list items. And now we should be set. Let's save this, go back to our site and refresh. And now we have a nice looking nav bar at the top of our screen. Here's our branding, Trust Hub. Here are the elements of our nav bar. Notice the one that we designated as active 
has a little bit of shading to show us right now we're on the home page and now our site's starting to look a little bit more filled out. Now here are a couple quick things we can do to play around with the nav bar if we want. We can change the coloring of this to make it dark with lighter text. We do that in our nav tag, changing nav bar default to nav bar inverse. Do that, save it, go back and refresh. And in my opinion, that looks a little bit better, but that's in the eye of the beholder. There are lots of other things you can do with the nav bar as well, but here are the basics to get you started.